Hour by hour this evening, we stay dry. Just a few high clouds uh, by first thing tomorrow morning. Still dry, but that changes quickly as we go through the morning. We'll be in the mid to upper 30s at 6 and 7 o'clock. And uh, then we start our climb through the day, uh, heading on into the 40s here as rain showers develop mid to late morning. And a steady rainfall expected at times tomorrow, although I'm not expecting heavy rainfall. It will stay steady through the afternoon uh, right on into tomorrow evening. Could see a quarter to a third of an inch, possibly higher in a few spots into tomorrow evening. Uh, but I am expecting that rain to shut down as we go into later tomorrow evening and on through the night. And we dry out just in time for our Sunday. Temperatures not all that cold Sunday either. Mid to upper 30s by noon and right back into the 40s, but the lower 40s on into Sunday afternoon. Then we open the door for colder temperatures on into Monday. So tonight, a 36 becoming windy. The clouds increase, but we stay dry through the night. Uh, tomorrow, temperatures building into the mid 40s. Still dealing with those gusty winds through the morning into the afternoon. Rain showers moving in and even a steady rain at times throughout your Saturday. The rain will shut down uh, by Saturday night, especially later in the evening. And Sunday stays dry, 43 your high temperature. You'll You'll notice something from Sunday, Monday to Tuesday. We lose about 10 degrees every day. Monday's high 33 degrees. Now we will be dealing with scattered lake effect snow showers. Those start Sunday night, uh, continuing into Monday, Monday night into Tuesday morning. Going to watch some of those as the accumulation gets going Monday into Tuesday. Uh, those are out of here, but the cold temperatures high of 22 on Tuesday, back in the upper 30s on Wednesday, near 40 by Thursday. As we start February and Groundhog Day next Friday will feature falling temperatures and I'm going to keep a close eye on that storm system later next week. Uh, still a lot of uh, models in different directions with that storm, but that's one that could potentially put down some heavy snow here at home. So we're going to keep an eye on that later next week. A long time away and we'll work on that as we go through the weekend and through the week.